Hello everyone, this is Moeen Rasulinejad Musevi from AI Lab at Mayo Clinic. Today I'm going to show you how to properly install NN Unit, which is a powerful and out of the box tool designed for segmentation on biomedical data sets and needs minimum expert knowledge. And more important, it is task independent and is a self configuring pipeline. To continue, I would like to list the three main steps we need to do for installing an unit. First, we need to install Anaconda, and if you don't have it installed, uh, I'd like to encourage you to go to their website and follow the instruction to have it installed. And then we need to install PyTorch properly and compatible with your operating system. And finally, we need to install NN unit from the source, which is their GitHub page. And that's what I'm trying to show you here in this tutorial. And hope to enjoy this video and install it with no hassle. Okay, now let's open a terminal and continue the installation process. Once Anaconda is installed, we need to create a new virtual environment. To do that, we type conda create dash n and the desired name for our environment. We put here nn underscore unit, and then press enter. Here we go. We created a new virtual environment. So now we need to activate this environment. To do that, we type conda activate nn underscore unit which is the new environment we just created and want to install nn unit in this environment. First we need to create a main folder named nn unit frame because we later want to create a copy of the nn unit code on our computer so we create this folder and then we get into that folder to copy the link for the NN unit code. So to access that uh, link, we need to go to the GitHub page and find the link for interactive framework. Here it is. So I copy this link and paste it into terminal, hit enter. Now, if we open the folder, we see that NN unit code is copied. And now we need to install packages and extensions necessary for NN unit. To do this, we um, type pip install dash e space dot Next step is installing hidden layer, which enables NN unit to generate plots of the network topologies it generates. To do that, we need to go to their GitHub page and scrolling down, finding the installation. Then copying the command of hidden layer installation. Here we go. We will copy this command and paste it to the terminal. And then press enter. Here we go. 
Now to use the full functionality of NNUnet, we have to set up path to help NNUnet knows where, where the raw data and pre-processed and results are stored. So we need to create another folder in the NNUnet frame named dataset and with three subfolders, NNUnet raw where the raw data is located, NNUnet pre-processed where the pre-processed data will be saved and the data will be also um, used from this folder during training and NNUnet trained models um, where um, NNUnet will save the model weights. Also we need two subfolders for NNUnet raw to have the at least um, one subfolder for each task that we want to train. To do this, we use mkdir to create that dataset folder. And then going into dataset, we create three more folders. We want to make NNUnet raw NNUnet pre-processed and NNUnet trained models. Then press enter. You see these folders are created. Now we go to NNUnit raw to create two more subfolders having each task. Now in NNUnit raw we want to make two more subfolders NNUnit raw data and NNUnit cropped data. Okay. Now we have all folders created and the final step is to set up environment variables. The most common way is to paste three lines of the code from NNUnit GitHub page in your bash RC file. So I go to their GitHub page and where it says how to set up environment variables, I copy these three lines of code into my bash RC file. So I go back to terminal, type vim.bashrc press enter and uh, I already paste them in my bash rc and I write them now my bash rc file is updated with having the environment variables thank you for watching in next video, I'm going to show you how to run NNUnit and train a segmentation model.